Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a shop with me. We ended up going to Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx and there will be a haul at the end with everything that I ended up picking up. So Hobby Lobby was having their 50% off Christmas sale so that's why we ended up going. I feel like even though they have 50% off, their stuff is still kind of pricey sometimes. So you really have to look at what you're picking up. Like for instance, this tree right here was like $30 and even after the 50% off, I definitely would not have paid $15 for this. I think that's a little bit pricey. I love looking at all the ornaments at Hobby Lobby. I feel like they have such a unique selection and normally they aren't as busy as it was today. The store was just unbelievably packed, so that's why I don't have any audio on this video. You could barely even hear me talking, let alone everything else going on. They have these strangest ornaments, like right next to this jellyfish ornament that I thought was super, super cute. They have a stick of butter. Kind of strange, kind of random, but I'm here for it. One of my biggest tips for the holidays is to buy shatterproof ornaments. I swear by shatterproof ornaments. All of the ornaments on my tree, except maybe five of them, are completely shatterproof. These white ones aren't actually shatterproof. They are actual glass, but I did want to include them. I thought they were super, super cute, very modern. They definitely fit my aesthetic, and I love the white on these ornaments. They are, however, glass, so definitely not for me with a kitten in the house this year. I thought these napkin rings were so festive, so I wanted to include them in this video. I unfortunately don't have a full family dining room where I can have place settings set out with, you know, fancy napkin holders and everything. I thought the stockings were pretty cute this year. This one is that fancy holographic material, and then this one was a fan favorite for Shane, clearly. One of the reasons I like shopping at Hobby Lobby is because of how big their selection actually is during the holidays, and usually they put everything on sale. So if you watch, like today for instance, they were having their 50% off sale, and every now and again if I go in at the right time, they have 60 to 70% off, so you can really get some good deals on different pieces to add to your collection. One of my favorite Christmas pieces are my Nutcrackers. I've had some of the Nutcrackers in my collection since I was little. Um, I'm hoping to add to them this year. Hint, hint, Shane, if you're watching this, I'd love a Nutcracker for Christmas. Hobby Lobby is one of my favorite places to get stickers for the holidays. I feel like they have such a wide variety and a really good selection. And they're also pretty decently priced, especially when they are on sale. So the main reason we went to Hobby Lobby was so that I could look for stickers for our bridesmaids and our groomsmen. So 
So this is me looking at wedding stickers. I normally check out all of the wedding selection that they have because I get new stuff in all the time. So I like to kind of stay up to date with the different things that are coming out. Our next stop was TJ Maxx and of course I always start in the handbags and this set of handbags that I found I cannot stress enough how beautiful they are like oh my god the blue one blew me away the second that I seen it. I did want to put this little clip in here. I found a Fendi bag and this is the first time I've ever seen a designer designer bag here at the TJ Maxx that is local to me. I love TJ Maxx for their earrings. One of my favorite places to get earrings is TJ Maxx. I think they have such good statement earrings, especially around the holidays. I love this bow pair and the pair of snowflake earrings, oh, my heart. So I'm going to go through and do a little haul for you guys. Um, I'm going to start with all the stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby and then I'll do the stuff that I got from TJ Maxx. So the first thing that I got are these tubes of basket wrap. They are like a clear cellophane. These were $4.99 a piece with the 50% off. They were only $2.50. So they are like a clear plastic wrapping paper. And then this one has like snowflakes and stuff on it. So yeah, so these are more of like a basket wrap than anything, but I thought those would be super, super fun to pick up. And then I also bought these little snack cups with lids. There are five in each of these, and then I got two packs of them, and the lid says Merry Christmas. I thought these would be cute. Our bridesmaids and our groomsmen are gonna come over for a wedding meeting, so I'm gonna put little holiday snacks in there and have these be more of like a, like a party favor for coming to the meeting. So I picked two of those up and then I always get Marvin a bow for his collar. This one is a black bow tie. And then I also picked up this Christmas party photo backdrop that has the little streamers and everything. That way if I have anybody over, I can set up a little backdrop for photos. And then I bought a few packs of stickers. My original reasoning behind going to a Hobby Lobby to begin with so that I could get stickers. Um, I didn't have much luck in the wedding sticker category. I feel like they didn't really have what I was looking for, but I found these cute little popcorn stickers. And then I picked up this pack of stickers that has an engagement ring on it. I thought those would be super cute for like bachelorette party invitations or whatever I decide to put them on. And then for the groomsmen, I picked up these stickers. These ones are just plain. And then I also got the uh, sparkly ones, which you guys seen. These ones are a little bit bigger. And then I got some football stickers. So that is everything that I got from Hobby Lobby and then we're going to move on. When we went to TJ Maxx, they actually had quite a lot. I was very, very surprised. So I'm going to start with the gifts that I picked up. 
we have this pack of playing cards. This is for my mother and father-in-law. They have one of these dogs, so I thought this would be super cute to give them. I'll show you guys what the back of them look like. They've got all different kinds of cards. And then my father-in-law is also big up on the lions, so we picked him up a lion's gnome. And then, just like we did not have one of these digital thermometers that go under your tongue, we have one of the like infrared ones where you like hold and shoot so I wanted to pick one of these up so I got this one and then I picked up two of these sets of bags so this is one of the bags and then the other side has donuts on it this is only 99 cents for both of these so I picked up two packs I'm going to use them as like gift bags I thought they would be a super cute reusable way to give a gift and then you guys seen the earrings i love the earrings so i picked these up as an early christmas present to myself and then i also found these super cute dress pants um we're really hoping that they're going to fit me they look a tiny bit small they only had them in one size but they were ten dollars and they're from zara so i am hoping and praying i can get these on but yeah, they're just like these red wide leg dress pant and I read reviews online that said they're extra small fits like a six and usually where I wear a four so I'm going to hope that they fit. So that is everything that I bought from Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked spending the day with me and shopping with me. Um, I had a good time.